predict the World Cup and win one million dollars. For the 2022 World Cup, Optra are offering fans around the world a chance to win one million dollars. Simply predict where each team will finish in the group stages, along with the winner of each knockout fixture and overall winners to land a prize. Hello beautiful people, lovers of African football and lovers of football in general. Welcome to the channel once again, African Football Fan TV. And we are back with another video. And on this week's video, we'll be taking a look at the African teams that they're going to do at this year's FIFA World Cup in Qatar. You know, our five African countries will be representing Africa at this year's FIFA World Cup. As Senegal, Cameroon, Tunisia, Morocco, and Ghana. These are the five African countries that qualify for the World Cup. And on today's video, we're going to take a look at the group, uh, the teams they're going to be facing, their head-to-head -head record against this team, and also the uh, record. Uh, of the African uh, teams uh, in the World Cup and players we will be looking at and also controversies regarding these five African countries so without wasting much of a time firstly I'd like you to stick on to this video while I review to you on how you can win this one million dollar jackpot uh, so stick around in this video I'm gonna give you a tip on how you can become the winner of this uh, one million USD so without wasting much of your time we go into today's show proper first we're gonna take a look at the group A where we see uh, Senegal Senegal group alongside Netherlands Ecuador and the host country Qatar so Netherlands are one of the favorite to win this year's uh, FIFA World Cup so they are group alongside the uh, African champion the uh, Senegal and Qatar who are hosting this year's tournament and South American counterpart Ecuador so players um, to watch out for from this uh, nation uh, from the uh, Netherlands we have Memphis Depay who plays for Barcelona and from Ecuador we have uh, Moses uh, Casero who plays for Brighty and from the host country we have Almox Ali who play for Head Dolhao of uh, Qatar. So these are the players uh, who will be watching out from this uh, team that will be facing our African champions and uh, Senegal will be taking on the Netherlands on Monday the 21st uh, um, Monday 21st by 4 p.m. Uh, GMT uh, before taking on Qatar in, on Friday 25th November and uh, Ecuador will be the last match on the 29th of November 2022. That match will be on 3 p.m. So keeping our finger crossed, we're going to give you these matches and reports from these matches at the kickoff in the uh, World Cup. So we're going to take a look at the head to head record between the uh, uh, Senegal and these teams which they will be facing. Uh, Senegal will be meeting Netherlands for the first time in their history. Senegal have never played a Netherlands in any competitive football match uh, and their first match will be played uh, like I said on the 21st of uh, November 2022 at the Air to Stadium in Doha. I know this match promises to be very very exciting and keeping our finger crossed we're hoping Senegal are going to take at least a point for this match to build up uh, into their next match which we'll be taking uh, which we which we see them take on the host country Qatar Qatar on the other hand a very tricky opposition with the home advantage I know they'll be backing on the home advantage to see if they can cause an upset in this group but I feel um, Senegal will be too much for uh, um, Qatar at this uh, year's World Cup and that match will take place on the 25th of November 2022 they were at uh, 1 p.m. precisely so this will be the first time also uh, Qatar will be facing Senegal in any competitive football so keeping a finger crossed we will open Senegal will take all three points against Qatar. In the last match, we will see Senegal. Senegal will be taking on the, uh, Ecuador. On the other hand, unlike the other two teams, uh, this will be the second meeting between Ecuador and uh, Senegal. And Senegal have a better head-to-head -head record over Ecuador as they won that match by two goals to one in the only match they've uh, played against each other. So we're keeping our fingers crossed and hopefully, hopefully our African champion will have uh, a max enough points before going into this match and hopefully we can qualify to the next round which is a round of 16 and the uh, world cup record of um of uh, uh, um senegal this 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 actually is the 20th year since uh senegal made their debut at the world cup 
So Senegal, if you remember precisely, we are famously known for eliminating the world champion then France at the 2002 World Cup in Korea, Japan, where they defeated France in the opening match by one goal to nothing, you see. And now they are coming again. So 20 years after that time, do you think uh, Senegal are going to go one step further by going to the semi-final because that uh, is a whole expectation of all Africans and how we're going to see our teams going to do where at this year's FIFA World Cup. So keeping our fingers crossed and hopefully the class of 2022 are going to go a step further at this year's FIFA 2022 World Cup. This is actually their third appearance at the FIFA World Cup. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of the 26-man team which uh, Alusise has called up to represent uh, Senegal at this year's World Cup. We have three goalkeepers in the person of Sani Diang who plays for QPR, Alfred Gomez who plays for Reniens in France, Edward Mendy who plays for Chelsea in England. Edward Mendy, if you remember very well, was voted as the best goalkeeper in the world in the 2021 season. From the defender side, we have a famous Mendy who played for Amiens in France. We have Khalidou Koulibaly who plays for Chelsea. Papi Abou Sisi plays for Olympiacos. Abou Diallo plays for RB Leipzig. And Fodi Belotra Ore plays for AC Milan. Esma Jacos plays for Monaco. And Yusuf Salaibi plays for Real Betis. And from the midfielder aspect, we have Papi Gia who plays for uh, Marcel. La Papi Mentesia who plays for Tottenham Hotspur of England. Idrissi Guel who plays for Everton. While uh, Naples Mendy who plays for Leicester. Sheu Coyote plays for Nottingham Forest and Party Six to play for Gihel Velikanus and uh, Crepin Diati plays for Monaco and Mustafa Nim plays for Patrox of uh, Greece Why Leon Ndiao plays for uh, Reading and from the forward we have Abulade Dia who plays for Salaritana Sierra Mani plays for Bayern Munich Ismaili Sao plays for Watford and Babi Niang who plays for Marcel Ilimani Dia who plays for Sheffield United and Nicola Jackson plays for Villarreal and lastly for Mario Dia who plays for an export of uh, Turkey. So Alusise, as you know already, is the coach of the uh, Senegalese national team. And there's been some controversy regarding uh, the, the the team uh, regarding the fear if Sedo Mani will be fit and also regarding uh, uh, Chelsea goalkeeper Edward Mendy, who, uh, who, uh, who who was dropped for his poor form towards uh, the, the middle, towards the starting of this season. Edward Mendy, as you can remember, vividly was voted as the best goalkeeper last year, and his poor form this season has really saw him uh, go down the picking order for Chelsea as he lost his spot to uh, Azile, uh, Azile Kuta <laughs> Kepa. I don't know, forgive me for pronouncing that name, uh, not pronouncing that name very well, but let me just say Kepa for short. <laughs> he lost his place to Kepa. And because Kepa has been, uh, been on the injury uh, list recently, so Mendy has uh, been restored back to the number one spot for Chelsea. So we're just keeping our fingers crossed and hope Food and praying that Edward Mendy is going to pick up the form we saw him being the name as the best goalkeeper last year. So, players to watch out for from the Senegalese national team, no other person than the big man himself, Sierra Mani, who plays for Bayern Munich. Although there's a fear if he will be fit for the first match against uh, Netherlands, but keeping our fingers crossed and hopefully that injury is not that serious and is going to be fit for the first match against uh, uh, Netherlands. And uh, what is my expectation for uh, Senegal? What are my expectations? What are my predictions? And as I said uh, before earlier, that I'm going to give you a tip on how you can become part of this 1 million US dollar jackpot. So on this video, I'm going to tag a channel which I want you to follow on DRO Sports. DRO Sports uh, on YouTube, just click on the link, you'll lead it to DRO Sports. DRO Sports has everything covered up for this uh, World Cup and the, the previews. And also, they're going to take a look at all the teams uh, from Group A to the last group. So click on the link on this uh, on this video that will link that lead you to DRO Sport where you have everything break down there for you to become part of the 1 million US dollar jackpot and back to the prediction of Senegal in this World Cup all things aside 
all things considered, and all players fit and firing with Seto Mani. I believe Senegal are going to play a draw in their first match against Netherlands. It's either going to be a 2-2 draw or a 1-1 draw, but I believe that match is going to end in a draw. Senegal are going to defeat uh, Qatar by three goals to nothing. I predict uh, Seydou Mane scoring the first goal in that match. They're going to win that match by three goals to nothing, which we amounts to four points from the group. And their last match against Ecuador, I see them ending in a goalless draw. So with that in mind, Senegal will be on five points and hopefully they will qualify second from that group and move on to the next round which is the round of 16 and that's where i think they can finish at this year's fifa world cup which is the round of 16 i'm not seeing them crossing the round of 16 but i believe they're going to qualify from this group to the round of 16 and that's all i have for you guys on this uh preview regarding senegal in group a so click on the next video while we click uh, while we take a look at all the things from the african perspective Predict the World Cup and win $1 million for the 2022 World Cup. Optra offering fans around the world a chance to win $1 million. Simply predict where each team will finish in the group stages, along with the winner of each knockout fixture and overall winners to land a prize. Click the link below to play the Opta 1 million game. <laughs> Elle est mama, tout de Africa.